Coming up, I'm gonna go over my WCSK behind the back cross draw holster. So stick around. Hi, it's the OCD Hunter bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can help make your life a little bit more simpler. Today, we're gonna go over my design of the WCSK behind the back cross draw holster. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into this because it's supposed to snow. Only in Indiana will it snow on April 20th. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of go over the sheath and how I got to this design so you guys understand what's going on and then talk about what's gonna be available with colors and so on. Okay, so this is the third progression in this design. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I got to it and why I did what I did. So the first design that I made, um, what I found was is that the tip of the knife was actually a little bit too far down below the belt. So when I would sit down, it would actually kind of grab on that. So my idea was is I would go ahead and take the belt loops and equally move them down so that brought the whole knife up. And you can see with this uh, design that it bring the, brought the knife up, I don't know, half, maybe an inch up. So that allowed me to get clearance when I sat down. Um, the other thing that I did from the first one is I was finding that I was having trouble resheathing it um, because I just didn't have a good mold or a good opening on it. So with the second design, in this case, um, I didn't, to save time, I didn't do any staining. I just uh, coated it with beeswax. beeswax. And uh, by putting the notch in the uh, sheath where the handle goes, it allowed it to be easily to find its way, the knife to find its way in and resheath without looking at it. But that being said, what I found was I was afraid that there wasn't enough handle inside the sheath. So over time when this would loosen up, I was afraid that maybe this would loosen up and there was a chance you'd lose the, the knife. So for the final design, what I did was then keep the height of where the knife was on the belt, but then bring this belt loop back some which allowed me to get more cover on the knife the other thing that i found with the second design and the first design is that the angle was a little too high so i was actually bumping things with the handle because it was sticking up too much so by leaving the belt loop in this area and then just raising the belt loop on this side it allowed the knife to be tilted a little bit more towards parallel. It's not a scout carry, but it's still an angle. It's still a cross angle, but the angle isn't as sharp now. By straightening out the angle, it rode more towards the center of my back and it was a little bit more comfortable. So here's the final design. And for those that you wanna see, this is a, it's, not going anywhere I'm flipping it now there is a little bit of play movement but it's not gonna it's not gonna come out plus with the amount of surface area that's on this knife I really don't see this coming out of the sheath and causing a problem so the way that I resheath this is I find my thumb on this back angle and then I push the knife in down and around and it just seats nicely and that being said I know it's got this tooth on here but my stitch line is here and the welt comes out far enough that yeah the knife is probably going to scar up the welt but it's not going to make it to the stitching so what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer this sheath in four colors like I did uh, my master bushman sheath which I have right in my pocket, which are still available if you want, you can contact me. 
I don't go anywhere without that knife. Um, but I'm gonna offer it in uh, four different colors. The first two colors are gonna be, this one is called British Tan that goes out to a brown that's airbrushed. And I'm gonna use white stitching with that. And then I'm also gonna offer it in the ox blood going out to black. I personally like darker sheaths because I try to uh, wear these knives at work as a way to test them out. And uh, the darker sheaths just blend in with my uniform easier. Uh, the other two colors, oh, and so the ox blood with the black blended would have the black stitching. The other two colors that would be available would just be straight up black and then a brown color. And the black would have black stitching and the brown color would have white stitching. So in a nutshell, this is uh, my new sheath design. Um, for leather working for me is more of a hobby than a business. and. One of the things that I wanted to do is, I love my WC knives, um, but there's just not a lot of options out uh, for sheaths. Um, you have Randy Smith at uh, Stitch Gear Outfitters which does great leather work. Um, so you can always see him, but I found that there's, besides him, there's really no one else that does anything. and so. What Randy does doesn't necessarily fit my bill for some of the knives that I want to carry. So that's why I developed some of the sheaths that I'm developing. And along the way, I found that other people were interested in them. So I figured, what the heck, if uh, somebody wants one, I'll, I'll make one. Um, so if you want to get one of these cross draw sheaths for the WCSK, um, there'll be an email down below or you can Check us out on Facebook and give me a message on it and then we'll get, uh, I'll get back with you and we'll talk about everything that needs to be done. And I know that uh, some of you guys had an interest of this type of sheath for some of William's other larger knives. Um, I'm going to continue to make designs for his knives, so the ones I have, I have about 15 different uh, knives of his. Um, but if I don't have it and you want a sheath, we just may have to have you send me the knife or uh, maybe I can talk to William about seeing if he can send me some um, some knives to make some patterns of and then send them back. But I don't want to promise you anything um, about, about that. So if you're interested, let me know. Give me a contact and uh, we'll take care of you. Well, there you have it. It's now available. If you want one, make sure to email me in the address down below or check my Facebook link. I'm the OCD Hunter, and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to look, click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Comments are always welcome.